brother, my brothers and sisters, greetings, greetings. It's still morning time. It's still morning time. Um, I got my babies in the car with me. I'm feeding Abigail on milk, and um, Emily's in the back as well, um, relaxing. I guess she wants to watch her um, program or something like that. Um, and Mama's in the store or in the store. Uh, down south that uh, articulate or enunciate that word she wears stove. She in the stove. She in the stove shopping <laughs> for my southern folk. Um, but I what, what I wanted to I had a um, a direct word that I wanted to um, re- release to you and it's just a it's just a correction. Just a correction. Something that we just need to catch, pay attention to. Uh, that's what development is about. Development, the scripture says that uh, after you suffer a while, you make it perfect. Perfect is to be developed, to be mature, more mature, growing more, just progressing. And so in, in, in development and in progression, there's things that we do that we discover that we do is wrong. We discover that some of the things that we do that needs to be adjusted, you know, to be corrected a little bit and, you know, hear a little bit line upon line, precept upon precept. And uh, one of the things that I want to talk about just the, the, the basic Adamic nature of, of, of humanity, the, the Adamic nature, God bless you, baby, uh, of mankind in the sense of pointing the finger. It's just something about us that when wrong has happened, when trouble, when trouble takes place, you know, when trouble, trouble takes place, we must, or... What's that, baby? Hey. Hey, baby. We, we, some kind of way, we point the finger. Well, I wouldn't be in this state of mind. I wouldn't be at this certain place in my life if it wasn't for her, for, for him. And we point the finger. We blame everybody oftentimes for the state that we're in. When, 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 the, true, when the true problem, when the true issue lies in us. Just like the enemy, the scripture says that our greatest foe is of our own household. Our greatest enemy, if I can be honest, is our enemy, our mind, our thoughts, um, our ideas, our imagination. That's where he comes at. The enemy is in our imagination. Comes in our imagination and this is why Jesus um, um, uh, uh, warns us and, 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 and tells us to take heed how we hear because in how we hear, we determine what gets into our imagination when we go to sleep, when we think, when we ponder. And it's, our imagination is what creates certain things. You look at just naturally, so everything that, that exists on this earth is started from imagination. Started from imagination, then someone took that imagination, put it on paper, and they uh, created a, a blueprint. Um, and so, in the book of First Mentions, when Adam and the woman sin, disobeyed God, and he ate from the forbidden tree of knowledge of good and evil. And then they hid, hid themselves. And when God was looking for Adam, and once God found Adam, and once Adam spoke, Adam said, well, and he said that he was hiding, he was naked. And God says that, well, who told you you were naked? And the first thing that Adam did was point his finger at the woman. And, well, the woman you gave me, she calls me to get this way. And then when it came down to the woman, you know, she blamed somebody too. She blamed the serpent. The serpent had about to blame. <laughs> but it's all it's the Adamic nature of pointing the finger to blame game. It was my fault, their fault. And it's one of the adolescent things that happens and it's happening in our government, it's happened among grown folk. It's almost like my friends are my friends, your friends are my friends. Say for example, two people they they they, they fall out. And once they fall out now, somebody else outside, y'all might be friends with someone else. But because y'all done fell out, now the other person don't want the other person to speak to him. You know, it's almost like playing basketball and you got, it's your ball, but now your team loses. And so now instead of watching and getting down next, you take your ball and leave. And so those are kind of the games and the kind of things that um, as humans, blame game, adolescents, we do. We throw the rock. We throw a rock and hide the hide hand. We start it. Then we act like we ain't done nothing. That's 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 the oldest game, the oldest trick in the world. To throw a rock and hide the hand. And so 
Those are my words.